We're back in Dash Dash and uh, well, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this game kinda became like a little bit of an addiction of mine. It's like for sure currently one of my favorite games on Quest to play. Like I, you can see I'm like 23rd level, like I'm playing it a lot. The game still did not uh, get like, you know, this kind of graphical update that game that the games kind of started getting. Today I pretty much wanted to do kind of a extreme map video. It's basically that uh, we have, you know, uh, normal maps here. So we have like la uh, Llama one, uh, the Circuit one, this Dodger, Discotheque, which is like my favorite map because simply I love drifting and this this map is perfect for drifting overall. Basically we have three other kind of maps that are classified as an extreme maps that you unlock through like carry mode. So it's essentially like a campaign and those maps are like a little bit more crazier than the normal ones. They are more like locomotion inducive because they are like more there's just a lot of going on and essentially it's also like a roller coaster as well because some maps have like just spirals that you go <laughs> and just like you'll see basically we have like three extreme maps i'm not gonna do a multiplayer like kind of matchup because uh, there are not many people that uh, kind of unlocked it yet because the game is still kind of like fresh it has like one two weeks still so we're pretty much just gonna do a career mode uh, today and that's just fine because I already like showed the multiplayer and uh, I don't want to dominate <laughs> but I'm gonna like play like with extreme kind of difficulty to see like how crazy the AI is because AI in this game is actually pretty <laughs> good <laughs> compared to other games as well as those kind of art it's like uh, this game probably has the most uh, ambitious kind of art style and just uh, this, the designer is just like excellent, like for a quest game. Are you kidding me? This game just like blows my mind sometimes with the art design. This game pretty much reminds me of the days that I played on PlayStation 1. Uh, the Crash Team Racing, the Crash the Bandicoot kind of just racing game. And simply because of the, the whole drifting, like you will see how I play. I play like better than the first game. So this is pretty much the first uh, map of the extreme map. Uh, it's pretty fun, or but like it's pretty hard on the locomotion side because there are like actual uh, slopes. We'll see. Also, you can like look in the back. <laughs> it's very handy when you like shoot like at them from the behind. As well as those, it's kind of like uh, the routes you take, and uh, one slows you down, and one kind of like speeds you up, pretty much. See, it starts. It's a fucking roller coaster. <laughs> and it is hard on locomotion for sure because I'm like, you know, kinda in my stomach getting sick, but that's kinda the point of extreme maps. They're not for everyone, that's why they're like marked as an extreme. And you have to like unlock them first in order to play them. Oof. So yeah, that's pretty much why. Not many people queue up for them. And rocket to the back. <laughs> yeah, he hit someone. <laughs> Fucking Santos. <laughs> I wanted to switch for the extreme difficulty, but it's coming up soon. Uh, it's not still available in this patch that I play, so that's alright. Shit. <laughs> Okay, Croc is going there. <laughs> That's pretty much my playstyle. I love drifting and then kind of boosting myself. I like com combining those kind of techniques. That way, kind of like sometimes on some maps, I just focus on drifting alone and not using really my weapons because this is kind of like so intense sometimes. Oh shit! No, not virus at thunder at the same time. Cut the mat. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. What's also really interesting about this game is that the weapon system I think is kinda similar to the Mario Kart. 
Essentially that's what one person said to me when I was playing in multiplayer. Um, basically you have those weapons, kinda, you know, those randomly generated packs, but you get better weapons more when you kinda are on the lower ranking. So for example, if I'm first, I get like shit weapons like, you know, Pan, because this is pretty much for close range and like, you know, just stuff that's useless for me now. But for example, the last place gets like all the kind of speed up boosts, all the like kind of global weapons. So they really cleverly kind of solve the dynamic that if you're last, it's not necessarily that you're gonna lose. It's just that you have to kind of think. Um, God damn it, thunder. Oh shit, and virus. Oh fuck. Come at me. Okay, they're too far away. <laughs> I think. Shit, no. Get out! <laughs> oh, I'm done. Yeah, see? That's what I mean. I have to, like, focus. Because, oh yeah, I'm ending up losing! <laughs> no! Uh... Ah, shit. Yeah. That's why I don't really pay attention to the weapons that much if I'm, like, on the lead, because you really have to focus. Also, this game has like storylines as well. It's like crazy. The amount of polish that this game has compared to the other games on, on the store, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. The, like the gap is huge. And I've played my fair share of quest games, you know. So this is definitely the one. The next stuff we have is Volcanic Jungle. It's pretty much like I don't think there were like you know those roller coasters. Fuck off, Isabel. <laughs> Roller coaster, you know, tracks. But I don't really remember that much this map, to be fair. I really like play a lot of multiplayer and the basic maps because that's where the player base usually plays. But yeah. Don't shoot me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Crack to your face! Oh, not time! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> no! <laughs> Shit, I must. Okay, let's focus then. <laughs> I'm losing uh, uh, for AI. This is kinda cringe. Freeze them! God damn it! <laughs> no! I hate! When someone like kinda stuns me, you go straight up to just like the shitter. Like those kinda side tracks. Umbrella and let's go. Power up. Two weapons. Pan. Come here. Ah oh, shit. Oh yeah, now I remember this volcanic map has uh, so many drifts. Get out. As well, like, you can kind of like see me holding some uh, sometimes hand in the air. And s because many people don't know that, like, the power-ups that are like on top are like this kind of sparks on top. You can't really reach them. Uh, so you have to hold up the hand in the air. Ah, shit. I didn't get anything. Okay, we're Gucci. See? Nah. And now I got like two. Now, Sofia. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay. As there was the kind of hidden mechanic with the those pads to boost, is that when you press the nitro, uh, when you're on the speed pad, then you have automatic kind of boost. I'll show you when I'll see the pad. I think there's gonna be one there. Okay, no, wait. I'm not using nitro still, so wait a minute. Fuck! <laughs> I'm under attack because I'm not using nitro. No! Okay, I'm not gonna be last. Fuck this. Okay, here. 
Yeah. See? And the, the another nitro is already kind of charged, so that's also one trick. Okay, and the last one is... Uh, I don't really remember the name. I think Mountain something. Not really sure. It's like I'm kind of like... I was playing a lot of multiplayer, so it's kind of like kind of recently I started playing extreme maps, but like, like I said, not many people play it on multiplayer, so it's purely on camping mode now. Yay, double boost. <laughs> Don't shoot me. I'll shoot you now. Come here, Dustin. Ah. No, you're not. <laughs> ah, headshot. <laughs> oh, okay, see now. This map has like spirals. So slashy slope has like roller coaster circles. This has spirals and the volcano you know has crazy drifts, so I guess those are the characteristics of the maps. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Ah, come on! <laughs> no! <laughs> Jesus. Ah, come on! Maids. What the hell? Holy fuck. <laughs> So like using the nitro at the right moment is as well really handy, especially with those speed pads. Really, speed pads, really. Ah, oh, Jesus! Holy hell! Jesus! Sometimes I don't even know where I am on those maps. Get out! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. <laughs> okay, we still have one lap. Also, as well, the soundtracks. That's also the really nice touch of this game, because the soundtracks are great. Like, very appealing to the gameplay. If there's something intense, the uh, music speeds up. Uh, they're really smart about the sound design here. Like, it's never boring. Shit, I know why I picked up this. Ah, no! Get out. Okay, speed pad. Yes, double boost. See? Yep, yep, yep. No. <laughs> what the? Holy hell. <laughs> Looking just up, sometimes it's just like too intense. Okay, I think I'm winning, yeah. Woohoo! And those were pretty much the maps, you know. Generally, <laughs> love this game. Like, the design of it, and just how far it come from the kind of seeing it on Reddit for the first time. It was a long time ago, it was last year, I think. I really am very impressed, and I love to play this. Pretty much just like, every now and then, when I, whenever I have a time, and as well with friends. As well are there like you know different achievements, customizations to your like kinda cards, what you drive with, like I have some stuff as well. I think uh, from kinda loot boxes, kinda, you don't pay for it. You kinda get it from achievements and just like playing the game. I got like some some rare things as well. Like this game has a lot of it. And essentially like as well you have kind of like mods. Uh, when you are playing the campaign, basically it kind of like modifies, you know, the statistics of your uh, vehicle. For example, like more max speed, less acceleration. It's basically just uh, kind of 
adjust it for the map that you're playing because every map has kind of uh, unique features and less map some maps have uh, less drifting other ones have more you know just straight up like you know roads so it's pretty much just like you need like more speed and not turning like i can't really recommend this game enough but like maybe i'm biased because i just uh, i'm nostalgic about crash team racing when i was playing as a kid and this game really resembles for me that but in vr so i'm very pleased and can't wait to make more videos of it. When I've, I'm pretty sure the next video is gonna be like, you know, this quest to upgrade. So I'm very curious what they're gonna do, to be honest.